Hello and welcome to my living room. I'm Kathleen Hirschner. When I first came to Spain a few years ago, my very first two roommates were both Romanian guys who were getting their college degrees, their university degrees here in Spain. Mihai and Silviu. Hi. And I had so much fun not only talking to them because their English was perfect and they also spoke German and a lot of other languages, but they were also really interesting people to talk to. They had really interesting viewpoints about the world. They were pretty well educated. And I always have fond memories of that first like four months when I was living with those two. And I have another person from Romania here with me in the studio today. And I'm going to talk to her about a few things having to do with Romania. Estera Coman. 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 Yeah, that's right. Estera Coman. 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 Oh. <laughs> yeah. um, we were just talking before uh, we came on the, s the show today about one issue that might be thought to be a little bit non-politically correct. But I think if yeah. we handle it tactfully... It can be a very interesting conversation yeah. for the listener, for the viewers to listen to. But tell me a little bit about yourself first. You've been here how long? Well, I've been here for about three years and a half, mm -hmm. living with my. Did you come family. directly from Romania to yeah. Spain? Yeah. 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 Why? Well, basically, my whole family is here. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I was the only one living in Romania. So did the family all come time? together? Well, no, actually, no. Uh, my dad was the came first, then my mother. Then one of my brothers, I have two brothers, yeah. uh, then the other one, and finally I got here. <laughs> well, that's, I think, the way immigrants often move to new countries. The, the father or the mother first yeah. goes to sort of see if it's going to be a good yeah. place. And then they say, hey, it looks pretty good over here. You know, <laughs> come. come, but come one at a time because <laughs> yeah. we don't want to freak anybody out. Well, we were in, they were in high school and I was uh, at, you know, attending university, so... Mm -hmm. Did you attend university here in Spain? No, in Romania. Okay, so you finished school in and then came over. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they already had a place to live. Of course. So, well, that yeah. makes that makes it a lot <laughs> more yeah. comfortable. Definitely, I think, to be <laughs> yeah. An immigrant. And so, what are you doing right now? Well, basically, I'm housekeeping and babysitting, mm -hmm. among other other things. That seems to be like the curse of the immigrant. Like I don't yeah. know, it's it's that way in every country though, and it was even that way a little bit for me even though I didn't really think of myself as an immigrant, although I was. Yeah, I don't <laughs> myself. But it's either. like you go to a new country, and the, the first job that you have is some kind of weird job that has nothing to do with your education. You could look at it as being something that's not worthy of your intellect, and yet, if you have to make money, well, and you've got to survive, it. you do whatever you can do while yeah. you're learning the new language. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that helped a lot. Did you speak Spanish when you first came here? Well... I was here on vacation for about two summers, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I, well, I didn't speak Spanish, actually. I understood very, very, very much the, the, the Spanish language. I think that's the language, first thing that a lot of people yeah, capture. Yeah, but I didn't, have the, I didn't have the courage to, you know, to, to express myself, yes. and to, I didn't have the confidence, that's the word. The I, can <laughs> <laughs> I can relate. I can relate. Yeah. But little by little you learned. Yeah. And yeah. did did do you did you live with a family? Were you an au pair or no, you lived with your own family. Yeah, I do I do live my with my own family. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean maybe the maybe the job that you have right now, it might not be the most stimulating, but you know you're definitely. not gonna be doing it forever. No, definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. I mean, yeah. I like to clean house. I mean, I enjoy cleaning my own yeah, house. Yeah, definitely. I don't have a housekeeper. I would never have a housekeeper unless I was so busy that when I came home at night, it was like, you know, what a disaster. Yeah. But I, I always feel like if you if you clean continually, you of don't course. have to have a, a big house cleaning. Actually, I don't like people to clean my, I, I don't know, my, my room, my, my, my things, my stupider things in other words. Yeah. I, I'm not... But I don't really like having people, um, this sounds kind of weird, and it's probably going to offend one of my friends who's going to see this show. I don't really feel comfortable with people in my house when I'm not there. And I don't know why. There's no reason for it. I trust my friends completely. Yeah. yeah. They all have keys to my flat. Yeah. But I don't know. It's like, it's just weird. Like, you come home and somebody's been here. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, it's, it's like, yeah, a, you have, it's like yeah. a weird feeling that it's you like, have. Okay. <laughs> or then I worry, like, okay, did I flush the toilet? Is my house clean? Did I leave dishes yeah, in the sink? Yeah, 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 all this kind of stuff, yeah. Are people whose houses you clean right now, and I, want, I don't want to talk about this much yeah, longer, yeah, but yeah. I'm curious. Yeah, yeah. 
Are they nice to you? Yes, all of them. I mean, I don't remember having a problem with that. And those people that I'm working for right now, they are just great, and the kids awesome. Yeah, yeah just so they treat you with respect. Definitely, and they like, value, of course, what I do, and I don't think that they 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 see me as their I don't know housekeeper, or babysitter, or something like that. Well, maybe they think of you as not maybe not being a member of their family, no. but they may think of you as just a person that belongs yeah, with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. During the day. Yeah, and that's that's that makes you feel great. What did you study when you were in university? Well, I studied social work. Really? Yeah. Did you, do you want to be a social worker now? Yes and no. I, I mean, I don't think I want to do exactly what a social worker do, but I definitely want to work with people. Yeah. You want to work with people and you probably want to help people. Yeah. I would assume that most yeah. people who yeah. go into social work, because it's not a high paying No, definitely. Feel. <laughs> and yet, yeah. many social workers, my brother's a social worker, Many, oh, really? of them, yeah, many of them have to have master's degrees to be social workers. Yeah. And so you yeah, think, yeah. God, you go to school, you get, a, you get an advanced degree, and Definitely. then you get out and you're making less money than, you know, a <laughs> yeah, teacher. That's, yeah, that's, well, in Romania, it's, not, it's quite the same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I might tell. Yeah, and I've, I've, I've done a lot of volunteering, too, so I'm kind of used to that. Yeah. I, I like that. Do you I go do back like to Romania very often? No, really. I only went back once, once, only well, once since I since once I came. in three and a half years. Yeah, well, yeah. It's. I okay. used to go back to the United States quite frequently when I first moved here. As I think it was because I had uh, what would you how would you say it in English? Um, not growing pain. Homesick. No, no, I wasn't really homesick. But I think the transition to living in a new country, I, it was a little uncomfortable at first. And it was sort of like I had one foot, you know, <laughs> well, in California. Yeah. I was like, I didn't want to get too far away from it. I was like, I, <laughs> I, know, I, know. I want to stay in touch with my friends just in case this yeah. doesn't work out. Yeah, 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 I don't I want know, people I know, to know. forget about me yeah. and say, oh, well, you've been gone so long. We don't know you anymore. <laughs> yeah, who are you? So I used to go back frequently. And then it got to be expensive because now air travel yes, is a is. lot more expensive than it was before. Yes, it is. And also, the longer you are in a new country, the more you start to get comfortable and you yeah, start get to feel like... Yeah, get used to all the... Yeah, like I'm home. Yeah. yeah. And now I don't... Now I, if I go back maybe a couple times a year... That's so, enough. yeah. That's yeah. I, I do miss my, my friends and my, my grandpas living in Romania. Your grandparents do? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and I got to see my, my grandpa a few weeks ago because yeah. he, he came he here... He came to Spain? He, he came here for two weeks yeah. and, and it was great and we had a, a lot of fun and he's a great guy. And How old is he? Well, he's, let me, let me do the math. Not that it's any of my business. No, I'm no, no, no it's not, but it's not a problem. It's 77, I guess. Wow. Yeah, and he's doing great. Well, not that great, but yes, well, he's doing good. <laughs> getting old is not the ideal <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. situation to be in, but as my mother always says, well, Consider the alternative. It's like, <laughs> I don't like being old. It's like, well, you, okay, old or dead. <laughs> yeah. You've got two choices. <laughs> yeah. I Which definitely prefer, prefer the old part. Um, well, let's get to, into this conversation that, uh, that I had with you before yeah. we started. That I've always wanted to talk to an actual Romanian person about it. I, yeah. I've had this conversation a little bit with my friends Mihai and Silviu. Yeah. But uh, I want to revisit it. When they told me that they were... The, when they came to Spain, they, they didn't really like it. They didn't like the way they were treated. I said, well, why? And they said, because when you tell somebody you're from Romania, they think you're a gypsy. Yeah, that's... And they said, we are not gypsies. gypsies. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, well, what's wrong with being a gypsy? I mean, gypsies are cool. They have cool music, and, you know, they're mm -hmm. sort of colorful characters. But they said, no, they ha there's a negative connotation in Romania, to being yes. a gypsy. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. Partly because of... Some of them do and... Resort to crime. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's true. <laughs> just, if you don't just have, to tell the... If you don't have you know, money, you have to make money. Yeah. And if you don't have an education and you're in a new country and you don't have money, a well, lot of people resort to crime. They do that in Romania too. So yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not a problem of being here yeah. or being there. It's just... But Spaniards, no. they, they do resent the gypsy population, at least... The Their gypsy population, or...? Well, I don't know. Most of them that I know... Because I heard some, some things about that. I mean, not all the people here 
um, seem to like very much their gypsies. I, yeah. I mean, the Spanish. You mean like Spanish gypsies? Gyps yeah. Well, gypsies are a nomadic people. Yeah. They're all over the world. Definitely. So yeah. I think they're cool. I know yeah. a guy who is a gypsy. Yeah. <laughs> there must be a better, I mean, maybe the word is the problem. You yeah. Know, maybe they, they need a new word for who they are. I don't know. The, they, I, I don't think they call it the Romani population or something like that. I, I, it's a weird term. I don't know. Don't. It, is, it is weird, but they... Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of... Like I'm from has, Gypsiana. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. But, yeah, no. but this guy that I know was a friend of Mihai and Silvio. Oh. And he came to stay with us with his wife and their newborn baby. Oh. Can you imagine? Yeah. I really felt like an immigrant <laughs> during that couple of weeks. <laughs> Because the building that he was living in, that he and his wife were living in, um, was being, I think they were replacing the windows. Oh, yeah. Or it was yeah, an old yeah. building and they had to yeah. replace the windows. So they had a new baby and it was in the wintertime. Oh. So Sylvia and Mihai said to me one day, do you, do you mind yeah, if, if they... our friend comes in? It's, we know it's kind of going to be crowded. They had one bathroom. Yeah, I and know, they I said, but like, you know, the the poor guy, they have a new baby, and they don't have anywhere to go. And so, what can you say? Yeah, you can't say no. I mean, you can't say no, no. unless yeah. you're like a real jerk. <laughs> so I was like, well, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's... come on. So we were all living in this little flat with the baby crying, and you know, I don't have children, <laughs> don't want them, and we're, ah, rah. <laughs> I do like children, but even so, <laughs> I just I, I I was a bit stressed, but I did feel sorry for this for this guy. So then he came, and I was like, oh, you can see that he's a gypsy. Like, yeah. And I think his wife was, was a non-gypsy, like yeah, a Romanian, yeah. but non-gypsy, non non-indigenous yeah. population or whatever. Yeah. And so one day we were talking. He didn't speak uh, English at all, but he, I think he spoke Both a bit of Spanish. Spanish. And I said, well, what do you do for a living? And he said, well, I'm a metro musician. I was like, oh, I've never met one of the people that actually yeah, sing there. Yeah, I said, what do you do? And he goes, I have this big... Thing, yeah, the instrument box, like, that yeah. I wear on my body. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know how what do you call it. Uh, it's, it's a traditional instrument. Yeah, I mean, in some of the countries, I don't know. I don't, I don't. I think in Spanish it's called accordion. Or, or it's not an accordion. Like accordion. Uh, uh, an accordion. It's accordion not that. Is, is, well, I can't. It's, yeah, that's it's, this yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, so it's it's, like it's this a, thing you wear, and it's big. It's like having a table. In front of you, and you and have, you have a, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I don't know, though, I, but I know I you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I definitely know. I don't know the name. So anyway, I, I was like, well, that's interesting, and I yeah. kind of thought, oh, 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 maybe I'll hear you someday. <laughs> yeah. Woo and one day I heard him. He came on to the train I was on, and I'm telling you, that guy was a virtuoso yes. at this instrument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, he was knock your socks off, fan. <laughs> Fantastic. I was like mesmerized. Like this dude, he's really good because a yes, lot of the metro musicians are not so good. Yeah, and they are known for this. So they 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 are good at music. The gypsies are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a we have a group Most in the United them. States uh, called the Gypsy Kings, and they're really great. I think oh. they play salsa music or something. Yeah, I think I, I heard about them. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think well, I then after I saw him, I, I was like, kind hey, of. dude, I forget his name. <laughs> yeah. And you can still see this guy in Seoul. Sometimes I see him on the weekends. And, and, and he plays with the older guy, too? or It's not that guy. It's not that guy. I know, which, I know those yeah, two guys that you're thinking Because I know of. them, This yeah. is a different guy. He's yeah. a soloist. He's yeah. good enough oh. to be a soloist. Yeah. And so when I got home that night, I was like, dude, that was so cool. Like, yeah. hey. And I said, can I ask you a personal question? Yeah. And he's like, he, I hope I asked him correctly. I said, yeah. how much, can you tell me how much money you make? Yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. curious. Like, yeah, what yeah. kind of money? You've got a wife and a baby and, you know. Yeah, there are a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he made about 40,000 euros a year. What? I'm not kidding. Oh, I, oh my God. Because I was like, you're, no, you're kidding. I'm going to start singing. <laughs> he said that actually because he works hard and he works yeah. a lot, yeah. And because he's good, he is good. He is good. The, you can the, tell the that. people, people on the metro and in you know the public places where he plays, yeah. they appreciate good music. Yes, because there are a lot of people that come and sing and all this stuff, but yeah. not of not all of them are are that good. So, yeah, you can and tell I think the it's difference. Tax-free money. I mean, I think the money that you make is not I mean, exactly. Do they as have to report it? it? Yeah, I'm. I know. I I, know, I don't know if you have to declare what you, you know, yeah, like... I mean, you have to declare some of yeah, your income, yeah, but, but do you have to declare all of it? 
I don't know. I don't, I don't want to get the guy in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Some tax guy's going to yeah. say, I heard a woman on TV say that you are not paying yeah. taxes. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, but getting back to this whole gypsy, gypsy thing. thing. yeah. It's too bad that they, that they have earned, not earned, but they've, they've gained or they've been... That reputation. Yeah, this bad reputation yeah. that they have. They're very creative, interesting people. People don't know where they're from. They, they, I don't think they know the origins of the gypsies, do they? I think I've heard or read something about they being from India. From or India? Some, yeah, or something like that. Hmm. Because if you if you if you see them, they look a lot like uh, like Indians. Yeah, 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 I guess you're right. You know, the dark skin and the type of. Are you musical? Yes, I am. I just sing. I knew you were going to say that <laughs> because every all my Romanian friends have a musical aptitude. They're not all musicians, but. Like I remember one of, I can't remember if it was Mihai or, no, Silvio could sing really well. Yeah. And my other friend Varvara is a concert violinist. Oh my God. I mean, she, she, lives, good, in, yeah. she lives in Cordoba and she actually is in the symphony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah, Cordoba. Yeah, yeah. So is her yeah. father. Oh my. <laughs> I know. What is it about Romanians and being musical? Do you think it's just a, a, a inherited <laughs> skill? I didn't know. You know? No, not, not really. Because I have friends that are totally yeah. <laughs> anti-musical. But, um, but you're a singer. singer. Yes, yes. Do you play, I, a, do you play, play an instrument? Uh, well, I took piano lessons when I was little, but yeah. I forgot almost everything, mm -hmm. and and now I'm I really regret that. Well, you're young. You can probably yeah. I, I can I can I can start it I again. I mean, if you start something like piano or or ballet, yeah, late in life, not yeah. late in life, yeah, but yeah. Not when you're a child or even yeah. learning a language. <laughs> yeah. I'm living, I'm living proof of that. Um, it's much, you, you'll probably never be the, the, as good as you want to be. Yeah, yeah. I started playing the piano when I was six years old. So by the time I was in my 20s, I was, I was as good as I wanted to be. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah, like, yeah. I'm satisfied with this level yeah. of, of my skill. Yeah, yeah. I, um, and I'm not that great anymore, but you know, I was at least satisfied. I'd love, yeah, I, I, I would love to, to play the piano again, I don't know. And also the guitar. Really? A friend, yeah, a friend of mine, when I was volunteering on a project, well, I made friends with people there. And uh, that friend of mine um, teach me some, of, I, I mean, the basic stuff. Uh, how to on how to play like the how to guitar. play chords and yeah stuff. yeah but I also forgot everything because I don't have a guitar or didn't rehearse at yeah. all yeah it takes but a lot I, of discipline to start an tell instrument. me yeah I think it, I think I was I had played the piano for about three years two and a half to three years before I started to really enjoy it <laughs> you know like six seven eight yeah, learning, learning 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 and then all of a sudden I remember I remember this feeling this sensation when I was like eight or nine years old, all of a sudden I could feel something yeah. switch in yeah, my like, brain. I was like, I want to play the piano. I was, well, I enjoyed it. I was like, yeah. wow, I'm really starting to like get into this. And yeah, yeah. It. After you, you, you get to a certain yeah. point, you just start to enjoy it. I it's, suppose. Um, let me ask you a, a, a question about social work because we're, we're going to run yeah. out of time and yeah, I, I want to make sure yeah, I ask yeah. you about this in case somebody's, maybe somebody's going to be watching this someday. Yeah, who knows? We'll try to get in touch with you. <laughs> What um, kind of work interests you within the social work profession? Yeah, the, the children, most of all. The mm -hmm. children, the family. Actually, I, I was a volunteer for an NGO that was dealing with uh, refugee people and children, especially. And, like uh, orphans, children from like Ethiopia or, or children well, from developing countries? Yeah, <coughs> basically that, that was the, 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 the thing. And, well... I didn't meet many kids that were actually by them, by themselves. But um, I met, I, I guess, one guy from I don't know Sierra Leone or something like that, and he it seemed to he had a pretty bad past or yeah. like. Well, you're a very compassionate person, to to want not only to work in, in a field that isn't very high paying and yeah. you know it's probably a bit stressful as yeah. well emotionally stressful as well because it yeah it'd be yes, it I is. suppose like being a doctor you can't really separate yourself from the, the emotions that you yeah that other people have 
you, you, you just can't say, well, let's work and that's my life. No, yeah. you can't well, do that. I, were you inspired to work with children because they're like so innocent and young and they've got their whole lives ahead of them as opposed to working with older yeah, people? Yeah, uh, because of also because of they are so vulnerable. Yeah. And, and that the thing that, you know, you being as a child, someone might, you know, said to you something bad or done to you something bad and you don't want that to happen to you know some other kids yeah. innocent kids you know and yeah well that was basically what i was i was listening to a to a um, radio broadcast this morning from national public radio which hmm. is our the american version of yeah, yeah, yeah. bbc yeah. essentially mm -hmm. it's an o ong a non-profit organization and they were talking about emotional memory, and it did, not having to do with children, but, they, but having to do with people who have Alzheimer's disease. Yeah. And they said that even after people who have Alzheimer's forget you, like you can come in, say hi to them, and within maybe a minute or two, they, forgot, they forget they that you. they've even yeah. seen yeah. you. But that the emotional memory, the emotion, if they're, if they're exposed to an emotional stimuli, they... they keep that and they say i feel sad and i don't know why well it might have been because in the study they showed them a very sad scene from a movie yeah and then they saw the scene i think it was from forrest gump oh yeah where forrest is in front of his ex his his wife's grave and he's crying yeah and then afterwards the the researchers would interview them and say well how do you feel and they're like i feel sad i, I feel sad why. and i don't know why isn't yeah. that interesting though yeah, I think of the that. Think of the implications for kids yeah. and how they're so impressionable. Yes, and the, thing, the bad things that happen to them, they're going to keep even after they forget about them. Yeah, 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 and then they would. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's that's the that's the the thing that that made me be so interested in 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 that because it really, it really stuck with me this morning. So I'm glad that I have you had you as a guest <laughs> so that I could actually yeah find somebody I can express that to yeah. who would appreciate it or. At of least course, understand yeah. It. Um, yeah. And also, like doctors, like the people, the, the, the Medicos Sin Fronteras, the Doctors Without Borders. Yeah, yeah. I've always been interested in that kind of work. And yeah. I wonder, like, I have friends who are doctors, and I've even asked them, why have you ever gone over to another country uh, to help kids who, like, can't see, or maybe if you're a plastic surgeon, to help somebody who has a, a cleft yeah lip. i know i know what you mean and i kind of almost think that it should be they're going to kill me for saying this <laughs> that it almost should be mandatory if you're going to go into that field that it, that you maybe you have to do like a three or four month tour yeah, yeah, of duty. yeah 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 well but then that then of no, course you're hitting on in, you know military no, service no no no, like no 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 nobody's no. going to tell me what to do no if you want to be a doctor on the and be a military too and yeah. A, I mean, a soldier too. You can do that, but yeah. I mean, not, obviously, it's not realistic yeah. to, to tell someone that. Yeah. But like, you sound like, Estelle, you sound like you had a really a solid, balanced, normal childhood. Well, do you, did you do you feel that way about your own past? Y yes, but that that's I, I I don't know. I don't know what to tell. Them. <laughs> it's, I know, yeah. it's kind of a personal <laughs> question. Well, I mean, my point is is that I wonder if people who who have a really great upbringing feel more sympathetic I had fun in my childhood that I don't. do remember good days and and playing I do remember playing with my dad in the park <laughs> we were playing hide and seek all of them except mom because <laughs> she was so tired and she was just sitting on a bench and watching us <laughs> or playing with my grandpa the yeah. one I talked to you about well I'm sure yeah. that when they watch this interview as I hope they will they'll be yeah. happy that you <laughs> that you answered the question in that way yeah because yeah. I always say I have a tendency to say bad things about my family but I know that it doesn't upset them because that's yeah, just yeah, how yeah, my family yeah. is yeah 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 and, the, and I would say it too I had fun well. I, I have I had fun as a child and I I do remember the, the, the good the things of course there are bad things too but yeah. you, you can't just stack, stack no, with I that mean, nobody's oh, life is for perfect. all that yeah yeah. I'd like to keep talking to you for a lot longer, but unfortunately, <laughs> we're out of time. Yeah, I know that. Estera um, Coman. Oh, yeah. Finally. Right. <laughs> yeah, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for, for chatting with me today. Well, thank you. And thank you for tuning in to another episode and conversation here in my living room. Be back with you very soon next time. Adios. Ciao. Bye-bye.